testimony I want you to say it with confidence because you need to connect to that testimony say to yourself I will be the next to give testimony in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus hallelujah Heavenly Father we thank you for today faithful God we bless your name Jehovah we worship your majesty who is like unto thee, O Lord? You are wonderful, you are glorious, you are marvelous. Thank you for what you have done. O Lord God Almighty, at this month of manifesting our covenant relationship with God, Lord, you have done it. We bless your holy name. We praise your holy name. We know that many things you have done. Uh, people will not have the opportunity to come out and give the testimony. But Lord, you have done so many things. So Lord, in the name of Jesus, I decree and I declare that everything that you have done for your children shall remain permanent in the name of Jesus. No enemy will be able to put their hands on it in the name of Jesus. And in that working place, our sister will shine. In the name of Jesus, Amen. she will shine. Amen. In the name of T Jesus, Amen. and she will be lifted. Amen. In the name of Jesus, Amen. and your own will come in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Father. As we are going into your word, let your word come with fire Amen. and with authority. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, precious Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen, amen, amen. We bless the Lord for this month of manifesting a covenant relationship with God. <coughs> amen. Uh, we, many have been said since the beginning of this month. Uh, we thank God for, uh, from Women Conference, I mean, We've had a lot, I'm telling you, regarding our covenant relationship with God. God has ministered to us in diverse ways, from women conference to uh, GOYP and all the Sundays, uh, Pastor Lani Pekong, Pastor Afuape. Uh, do, we have had a lot. That our God is a covenant-making God. And is in that business of having covenant with his own children. That our God does not require anything from us. All what he wants from us is just to accept that covenant. Accept 
that covenant. The covenant that can never be. That is the covenant of God. Men fail in their own covenant. But God will never fail in his own covenant. And when you are in covenant relationship with him, no matter what is going on in your life, don't bother about it. Because God is going to surprise you. I don't care what people say about what is going on in your life. But God is in the business of making wondrous, marvelous, glorious things happen in your life. Because God will never allow his name to be put to shame. So because of you, God will glorify, God will magnify his name in the mighty name of Jesus. So today, uh, I'm not going to preach on uh, covenant, relationship, covenant. It's going to be a prophetic. It's going to be a prophetic because God has done it in the past and is going to do it again in the mighty name of Jesus. So because we have uh, a very wonderful day today for our children to, uh, to present to us a, a hallelujah day, which is uh, a special day. I'm telling you, today is special in diverse ways. I said today is special. In diverse ways. Uh, we, we've got our children there. You can see them in white top and jeans. Uh, they are ready to minister to us. So, uh, and I want us to be ready to receive uh, from them as well. Today is a special day because it's not common for uh, these hallelujah days to fall on Sunday. Hallelujah. You know, we, we need to mark things when things happen sometimes. We have, we, we've been having hallelujah days uh, in the even, evenings of midweek, but today is a special day, and it's going to be special in your life, in the mighty name of Jesus. So I'm going to read from Psalm 44. Psalm 44. And I implore every one of you here today to receive from the Lord. I know the anointing of the Lord is in this house. I know the power of the Lord is in, is in this house. And I know that whatever may be your problem, today there will be solution. <laughs> I say, I am confident in my God that whatever may be any problems in your life, if you can hold on to this covenant today, there shall be solutions in the name of Jesus. Amen. So I'm reading from New International Version, Psalm 44, and I read verse 1. It says, We have heard it with our ears. O oh God, our ancestors have told us what you did in their days, in their days long. Today, have you not heard what the Lord has done in the past? In fact, we just, we, we, we just listened to one now. We have heard of many things that God has done in the past, uh, wondrous things, glorious things. Uh, he made his people to pass through the, the Red Sea and walk in, on a dry ground. Uh, he he, 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 he made uh, 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 manna to fall from heaven. And uh, men hate the food of angels. That is the God we are talking about. And that same God of provision. That same God of blessing. That same God, the healer. That same God, our banner. Is still the same God. Yesterday, today, and forever. He is God. Somebody say, He is God. Yeah. Say it with confidence. He is God. Yeah. Say it with all power. He is God. Yeah. 
He is God over all your problems. He is God over all your challenges. And we have heard what he does because he is a God of covenant. And he will stand by his word. Whatever is going to take God to perform miracle in your life, he will do it. So if he has done it in the past, he will do it in your life. If he has done it in the past, he will do it in your life. He will do it in your family, in the mighty name of Jesus. In verse 2, he says, With your hand, you drove out the nations and planted our ancestors. You drove out the nation. Anyone that is standing on your seat, anyone that is in your place, Anyone that is sitting on your seat, today by the power of the Most High God, I unseat them today in the name of Jesus. There is a place for you that God has established. And anyone that is trying to take the place that belongs to you, today I unseat them by the power of the anointing in the name of Jesus. By the covenant of God with his people, those who are, have their covenant with him, in the name of Jesus, anyone, no matter how powerful they are, by the reason of the anointing in this house today, I unseat them in the name of Jesus. And I decree over your life, take your place in the name of Jesus. Take your seat in the name of Jesus. Take your seat in the name of Jesus. By the power of the Most High God, no one will be able to stop you. In the name of Jesus. The God that planted our ancestors will plant you. And your na the name of the Lord will be glorified in your life. In the name of Jesus. And he says, you crossed the peoples and made our ancestors to flourish. Anyone, any power, demon, or the spirit world that are standing on your way that will not allow you to experience breakthrough. Something is happening in the realm of the spirit right now. There are unseen power that is fighting against your life. The Lord God Almighty will crush them today. In the name of Jesus. And I declare over your life, you will flourish. You will flourish. You will flourish. Your family will flourish. Your children will flourish. Your husband will flourish. Your wife will flourish. The church of God will flourish. In the name of Jesus, say a better amen. The hand of the Lord will work in your life. In the name of Jesus. Because when he stretched forth his hand, miracle happen. In offer your life. The Lord will, oh, my Shandale, the Lord will stretch forth his hand. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Verse 3 says, It was not by their sword that they won the land. <laughs> Nor did their hand bring them victory. It was your right hand, your arm, and the light of your face. For you love them. That is the covenant of God. The covenant of love. In the mighty name of Jesus, I decree over your life today, you will not fight any battle again. I say God will fight for you. I don't know, you, you, I don't think you understand what is going on in the realm of the spirit right now. A day like this is not, is not always come, come, come to people. But there is a day that God will do something and turn things around in the life of his people. So I want you to pay attention to what God is doing, to what heaven is doing in the spirit at this time. 
and not just be uh, 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 not, not losing your focus, but knowing that God Almighty is, he, he is ready to do something special in your life. I know you are comfortable. I know you are okay. I know, I know you are all right. I know you think that everything is okay, but there's something that God wants to add to your life today. In the mighty name of Jesus, the hands of the Lord will do wonders in your life. In the name of Jesus, the hands of the Lord and the hands of the Lord will do wonders in your life in the name of Jesus. This covenant is great. Verse 4 says, You are my king and my God, who decrees victories for Joseph. He was talking about me. And he's talking about me now. He is my God. He is my God. He decreed victory for Joseph Adeyema. Victories, not one, no. Not one, not one victory. Victories. So if they come on the right, victories. On the left, victory. They follow me at the back, victory. They stand for me in the front, victory. He decreed. I declare over your life today. Everyone will decree victories over your life in the name of Jesus. Verse 5. Do. Uh, through you, we push back our enemies. Through your name, we trample on our foes. From this day, the enemy that you know and the one that you don't know, the Lord will empower you. The Lord will strengthen you to push them back. I want you to do like this. Push them back. Receive the power to push them back in the name of Jesus. Enemy of your blessing, enemy of your breakthrough, enemy of your victory. Receive the power, receive the anointing to push them back. All the enemies of your head, your perfect head, today receive the power to push them back. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. And in the name of Jesus, in the name of the Lord, you trample on them. You, 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 you march on them. Begin to march on them. March on them. That problem, that situation, that challenges, that sickness, that diseases, that, 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 that hindrances. March on them by the power of the Most High God. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, the name that is above every other name. March on them. Because God has empowered you in your life, your family, every area of your life. This is the day that the Lord has made. In the mighty name of Jesus. You can have your seat. Fasi says, Because I am a covenant child of God. Because I know the love of God for me. Because I trust in his victory all the time. I put no trust in my bow. Everything that I have, I put no trust in them. My, my sword does not bring me victory. I know that there is nothing that, can, nothing that I have that can bring me victory. Nothing that you have can bring you victory. But you give us victory over our enemies. You put our adversaries to shame. Hey! Hey, 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 they will hear it and they will know that you are a covenant child of the living God. 
the Lord God Almighty we put all your adversaries, all your enemies, all those who rise against you, all those who want to bring you down, the Lord we put them to shame in the name of Jesus. And pass it, the last part. In God, the covenant keeping God, the covenant making God, in God we make our boast. In God we make our boast. In God we make our boast. It may take us one year, it may take us two years, you may be going through it three years. You may be on need seven years, but in God you have your boast. That your God will never, 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 never disappointed you. Because he is a covenant keeping God. And uh, we will praise your name forever. On that issues, that issues in your life, that matter that you cannot even talk with, with anybody. You it's so secret in your life. You 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 you, you are just you, you are just there. You are managing it in the name of the living God. From today, you will praise the Lord over it. Amen. Ah, 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 ah. I don't know whether you have been mourning and you have been weeping and you, in the secret, but that matter. From this day, in the name of the living God, you will praise the Lord over it. <laughs> that matter, that matter, men are looking at you as a, we feel sorry for her, we feel sorry for him. Uh, well, what can we do? I decree over your life today, you will praise the Lord over them. In the name of Jesus, 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 in the name of Jesus.